Okay, so here I am going to be doing a quick and easy butterfly. I have a three color um, palette, uh, pink, light blue, and blue. Um, this was um, three solid colors um, that I cut apart. Um, so now I have uh, three palettes that are pink, light blue, and dark blue all at once. The only reason for that is for the sake of speed. So I have a sponge, I have wet, I'm going to be putting um, the pink at the narrow end because it's just easier to handle that way. Rub back and forth. Do not go this way. It just messes the colors. Go this way. Keep the colors separate. So we have the pink, light blue, dark blue. Just getting it really well face painted. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, if I need a little more. Okay, so the butterfly easiest, quickest butterfly um, that you can maybe not possibly imagine. Now we're going to start up from the corner of the eye. Don't go straight up because you want room for the antennas. Angle away, okay? So here we have those three colors and we're just going to go like this, maybe down a little bit, okay? Starting up there, just down a bit, not super far. Once again, from the corner of the eye, okay, and angle. You can see here, I, this is what's going to happen if you don't tap enough. Just go over it again, tap a little more thoroughly. Um, you can take it up a little higher in the corner. Just in my throat. Angle it into the rest of the wing. This edge is going to show more than some other face paints. So just try to keep it a little bit neater um, because what you see is the actual edge of the wing. So here's one side, here's the other side. This side I think needs a little more pink on the eyelid. I'm gonna go like that, get a little more blue down here. There we go, that's done. Grab your angle brush. And you could do white here, you could do black. Um, I recommend doing whatever the darkest outside color is. So I'm just going to take the same palette, grab the brush back and forth on the dark blue. Try not to work a groove into any one color because it makes it harder to use with the sponge. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to start right here. And like you look at this, not even, right? This is angled way more than that. Um, that has to do with the fact that I'm doing it on a mirror image, but it can be fixed. Angle your brush. And just take it and drag it and lift. Take, drag, and lift. And lift the pointed edge of the brush before you lift the other, or sorry, hold the pointed edge against the skin longer than the other edge, um, just to get a more dramatic angled effect and prettier. So take it maybe, you know, half an inch from the eyebrow. Mind you, kids' faces are going to be a lot smaller, so take it a little, um, uh, take it a little bit, about two-thirds of the way to the eyebrow. How's that? Um, and have it all radiate around from about that point on each side of the wing. Once again, this should be a lot faster when you're not doing it on yourself. So we're going about two thirds of the way towards the eyebrow. Or I guess you could say we're going most of the way through the second color. And just continue it even past where the color goes because butterfly's wings go further than just horizontal all the way down. I'm just giving the indication that's a butterfly. We're not doing an anatomically correct butterfly. You don't need to do that. This is not a science diagram book. So begin the angle. See how this side I have the brush that way and this side I have the brush that way so that the angle can continue. Try not to let it be a, a square edge. Let it angle away a little more gradually. Just 
kind of compare how far you go down on either side. Make it relatively the same. Okay, um, last thing. What? Last thing already? Um, choose one of the other two colors for the butterfly's body. I'm going to do the butterfly's body light blue. You're going to start with the bridge of the nose right between the eyes. Once again, this is not an anatomically correct butterfly. It does not need to be the entire width between the eyes. Try to make it right there, centered. And you're holding your brush straight, not at an angle. This time you're holding it straight. Make a little wider up there. And just lift. Let it fade out by the time you get to the point of the nose. It doesn't even need to come down to the point. So that's the butterfly's body. I'm going to attempt to do this mirror image. And the antennas, you could do like a swirly thing, you could do a heart, but once again, the brush is not like that. We don't want a fat antenna. No butterflies have fat antennas, they have skinny antennas. So your brush is held like that. These butterflies antennas. Maybe not perfectly symmetrical since I'm doing it on myself. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. Try to keep it somewhat maybe. And if you have the time, you can grab the pink, the third contrasting color. And by this point, the blue lines in the wings should be dry. And just put a bit of a dot. Sort of a blob. In the center, at the tip. And if you can see, once again, I'm taking advantage of the narrow part. If the tip of the brush starts to get more blue, um, you can rinse it off. You can just rub it into what's on your palette. I'm just doing, pressing a little bit harder with the pointed long tip of the brush just so that it's wider at the very edge of the wing. Um, or instead of doing it with a contrasting color, you could grab your sparkly eyeliner, this, and you could do it with that. So you don't have to do it with both. I'm just doing it over for the sake of the demonstration. Make sure when you're done with a brush or a sponge, you dip it in the um, bleach water to disinfect it before you go on to the next kid. We don't want things like uh, kids coming home with pink eye that they contracted with a dirty brush. So make sure your brushes are disinfected between kids, your brushes, your sponge, and this as well. So you'll just dip it, dip the brush in the chlorinated water, and your butterfly is done. Yeah, make a little dot right there, just to make it a little extra sparkly. You can see the sparkles. And that's it. Thank you.